Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Wassalatu wassalamu ala ashrafil anbiya wal mursalin. Nabiyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Amma ba'd. Fan'awuz billahi samil alim minas shaytanir rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Inna Allah ya'murukum an tu'addu al-amanati ila ahliha. Wa iza hakamtum bayna al-nasi an tahkumu bil-adl. Indeed, Allah commands you to render trust to whom they are due, and when you judge between, to judge with justice. Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse 58. Today, I intend speaking on the concept of amana in Islam. Though the word amana is quite common, its concept and meaning are very profound, and Muslims need to keep reminding each other about the same. Amana means trust, trustworthiness, loyalty, faithfulness, integrity, and honesty. Both Amana and Iman originate from the same three-letter root verb, Aman, which means to be in a state of peace, safety, and security. The Quran mentions Amana or trust given to mankind. We have in Surah Al-Ahzab, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Surely we offer the trust to the heavens and the earth and the mountains, but they refused to undertake it and feared from it. But man undertook it. Surely he is unjust and ignorant. Surah Al-Ahzab, ayah number. 72. The term amana is used in the Quran and the Sunnah to indicate a very broad and deep meaning. It defines man's rights and responsibilities in relation to all the other humans and his environment and the rest of Allah's creation. Everything given to us by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a kind of amana that should be managed appropri appropriately according to the laws and rules revealed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Every task or responsibility to us is considered as amana. Muslim trust is a real indicator of iman. Anas ibn Malik عنه, reported that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, there is no faith for one who cannot be trusted. All the prophets of Allah were most trustworthy people, even before their prophethood. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was called Al-Amin, the trustworthy. When the daughter of Shuaib described Prophet Musa alayhi salam to her father, she described him as one who is strong and trustworthy. As mentioned in the Quran, Ya abat istajar, inna khaira man istajartal qawiyul amin. O my father, hire him, for the best to be hired, is the one who is strong and trustworthy. So Tulkasas I-26. What are the trusts that Allah has left for each and every individual? One of the most important trusts between us and Allah is holding on to our religion. Trust includes many things in our life, such as worship is trust, so we must offer it in the best way possible. Children are trust, so the parents must take care of them and advise them. Students are trust to do uh, their work and must increase their knowledge. Wealth is trust, so we must earn halal and spend it in the right way and pay charity and zakat. Job is trust, so that the workers must be sincere. Neighborhood is trust. So we must respect our neighbors. Family relations are trust. So we must maintain them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with the wisdom to understand the concept of amana and may he enable us to fulfill the same both in our individual and collective capacities.